we get another look tonight at the great Yair Rodriguez, DC. It's hard to remember a fighter being as hyped as Rodriguez was when he made his UFC debut at UFC 180 back in 2014. And for my money, he has largely lived up to it. Yeah, he's lived up to expectation. I remember when we met Yair on the Ultimate Fight of Latin America. Right away, you understood that there was a star quality about this kid, but also an ability to just be free inside of the octagon. And it shows in his performances the knockout of the Korean Zombie will stand the test of time because it was one of the greatest fights you had ever seen. And Yair and his toughness allowed him to go find that knockout with very short time left on the clock. At 26 years of age, that highlight that he produced, one of the best in UFC history. We'll see if he can follow it up with another win here today. We go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Herb Dean, our referee for this one, just about to get underway. All right, so here we go with this highly anticipated stand-up only event. You gotta play by the rules here. There are a ton of them, but there is no grappling of any type, either on the feet or on the ground. Fighters cannot do follow-up strikes on the floor as well, so that bears watching here as round one gets underway. Clip to put the jab. All right, here we go. First round is underway. No denying the big reach advantage for him tonight. We'll see if he can get that jab going early. Look for him to circle on the outside. Use that long jab to keep his distance and only engage on his terms. Misses again with a right punch. Oh, how good is this? One minute into the fight, and we got a full-on brawl. These guys said, that they were going to point to the center of the octagon and they were going to fight. Did I believe them? No. So right now, I am so wrong. They are doing exactly what they said. Yeah, shades of Max Holloway against Ricardo Lamas back in the day. Beautiful job getting those hands up. And that spinning kick out its home up top. Landed that 
that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot, that will finish the fight. Man, these guys have some chins on them. Huge shots being landed on both sides. Rodriguez gets caught by the straight punch. Just over 20 total strikes have now landed for Gaia Rodriguez. It's just out of range with the big right hand. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Now to Bruce Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 53 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, yeah, El Pantera Rodriguez. All right, so how about the effort out of Yair Rodriguez here tonight? This is a plus athlete. He's got a penchant for being flashy, no doubt about it, but he found a home for those kicks early and often here tonight as he continues to prove that he is a featherweight force to be reckoned with. And you gotta think, before Rodriguez's career is said and done, he will have earned an opportunity to compete.